Hello my gorgeous Simmers, Laura here and I'm just back with a quick introduction before this video starts. I know that it is a wee short video and we're sort of starting halfway through a day um, but if you did watch the last part you'll see that I had to split the last part because it was huge. It was like 50 minutes long and I didn't want you to be bored so I have split it. It's the only time that it will happen. I will promise, promise, promise to set my timer from now on. So today I'm spending loads of time today just recording great content for you and I cannot wait until Friday for the movie stuff pack to come out. I am super excited about that. I know that the US have it but as always our little island in the UK is left to our own devices. <laughs> so um, I also am trying out a new audio thing and um, basically I don't know why but it's taken me my whole time on YouTube to actually realise that I've had some static noise in the background of my videos and I am super sorry for that. Um, I am trying out something different about removing that background noise in my editing software um, but it does mean my voice is a little bit quieter than what it normally would be. So put your volume up although for some of you me being quiet is probably a fantastic thing. <laughs> so anywho um, let me know what you think, let me know if you think that this is better, if you even noticed the noise before, um, you know, I don't know, it may just be me being pernickety, I'm not sure, so have a wee listen and enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one guys, bye. Okay, so we're back and Blake is still um, in his garden, this is like three hours later and Shannon has got herself a promotion, so pretty awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know where I'm from. Um, so congratulations. Shannon's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to automated spell checker checker as well as a bonus of 608 simoleons. In this high tech world it's still important that the sims to have sims what? Right start again. Refresh my brain. In this high tech world, it's still important to have that sim touch. As an automated spell checker checker, it's up to you to know the ins and outs of grammar to ensure the computer never gets it wrong. Touch up in your writing skills while you're at it, but try not to be too verbose. So she makes 44 simoleons an hour. So that's awesome. So I wanted her to get a promotion before she had the baby because it means that she'll get more maternity pay, which will be great because eventually we are going to need a bigger house. And the reason that I'm kind of saving up here with the simoleons is I don't really want to spend too much because I know that we'll need to build a you know not a full nursery but we'll need to get some you know things for the baby when the baby comes and uh, eventually because we want to have more and more and more and more and more babies then um you know we're going to need more space than what we have so we're going to have to build up. We have a lot of space on this lot so I don't really want to move from here. I think it's just going to be really adapting the house for what it is. So Shannon is sleeping and she's feeling sick and she's probably going to have her first bout of morning sickness. Oh no! She's going to show! She's starting to show! Come on let's see your pregnancy clothes. Let's see. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they ugly? What are they? Oh, they're not too bad. Not too bad. Shannon and Chrissy just found out that she is pregnant. So <laughs> they're not too bad apart from perhaps the hat that she might have to wear. Um, so she's got the next four days off as maternity leave, which is perfect timing for a promotion because it means that she is going to be off work, um, and uh, which will be fabulous. Importance of palms. Read passing palms and return to work to increase your job performance and relationship with your boss. Yes, I would love to accept that opportunity. So we will let her sleep, I think. I think that that is quite important. And Mr. Blake is still doing his gardening, but I think this is his last plant, so that's awesome. So he can deliver the tomatoes to Sam's diner market. So you can do that. And then I think what we're going to do is we will invite out... Belinda once we have done that and maybe see where the date takes us and <laughs> now he still has 18 hours left in this with this elixir <clears throat> excuse me so we're just going to let Shannon oh no are we going to have our first morning sickness I hope so <clears throat> excuse me guys <clears throat> goodness me I don't know what's wrong with my throat. I've been talking a lot today. I, I've recorded quite a bit. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, no. 
morning sickness is a bitch. So yeah, so let's have a shower, yeah. Go and have a shower. Good girl. Good ghetto. So Blake, 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 he is over here. And all of it is business as usual. So I think we are going to learn a bit from the mentor for the rest of the day. And once you have done that hygiene, I want you to clean out the bad food, have a quick meal of yogurt, and then you can go actually to sleep. So your tomatoes arrived just in time for the restaurant to serve the world famous tomato bowling pasta sauce. It's an award winning creation that you are now part of. The restaurant is too glad to pick up the tab for the tomatoes. So that's cool. So where it is somewhere that we can go and eat? Where is somewhere? Sam's Market Diner. Mm, yeah, so let's do that. So let's see if she will meet us there. Hopefully she will, because that'll be nice if she does. Sorry, I'm about to head out. No! No, 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 no. Right, who else can we phone? Surely. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because I would quite like for him to get a bit of... Um, Okay, he knows no other females. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and knock on a couple of doors just to see, oh, Maldano. Yeah, we're right across the road from you. Why not? Let's go and make Blakey boy some friends and maybe get a bit of romance because we've now had a first kiss for Oliver. We've had a woohoo and a baby for Shannon and we have had nothing. Oh, is that her here? Marigold. And she's a fairy, and she is so cute. Marigold thinks that Blake is okay. Blake is more than okay. Blake is a gentleman. He is awesome. So we'll ask about your career. Clearly, I'm going to hazard a guess that you're a chef. So go inside. So she's invited us inside, so that's a good start. So that is a good start. And the house is, oh, it's a nice homely house. Once it loads. Yeah, but I would quite like you to chat to her, Blake. That's the whole point. It's not you going in our house without her. It's a bit of chat. So you go, tell her a funny story. Friendly, ask about her career. Funny. Let's show her an internet cats video, why not? And Oliver is nearly finished work, which is awesome. He is overworked. All work and no play makes it so that Oliver needs to lay off putting in all that extra effort so he can't work hard anymore. Okay, that's fine. I understand. I understand. So what you could do then is you could go and see what local hotspots there are for you. What is this? <laughs> Where can you go? If you want a bit of fun, where could you go? If you're going to have fun in a town like this, where would you go? So we've been to Mix Master Tariokie. Tari yeah, we've been to the Tariokie, Laura. Yeah, that's exactly where we've been. Why don't we go and see what's happening at the summer festival and see if anybody is there and we'll have a bit of fun there. And uh, let's see how these, these two are getting on. Hopefully quite well. She liked it. She liked that. Okay. So compliment her home. And boast about gardening glory. <laughs> I don't know how a female will react about gardening glory. But we'll certainly try. And we'll joke about cooking because she's a chef. So let's do that. Oh no, he's like that. She does not care. He just saw a ghost. Okay, so where are you? So let's have a look. He's playing, he's doing some roller skating. So that should get his fun up. So that should be good. Um, do, 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 romantic, ask a single. Romantic, ask her sign. And then give her some friendly yellow flowers. Why not? Why ever not? And this is quite good. So I wonder whether he will actually be awake for 15 hours. And she is single. Mm -hmm. She is single and she's got a nice house for someone who's single. She has a nice, a nice house. She does. And she has like an indoor, like an indoor garden. No, she's not. She's got a chess table. Hmm. I actually really, really like the way this house is laid out. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, she's got two bedrooms. She's got a study area. 
actually really like this house. This is the kind of house that I would build myself. I really like that and enjoy the look of that quite a bit. Hmm. Yes, she is quite nice. I'm wondering whether she might be a better match for Oliver. Oliver, who are you talking to? Was that an old woman? Yeah, that is an old woman. <laughs> but we need to, let's perform a private reading because we do need to get that up. So let's try that. I'm not particularly wanting to, to grab a granny. I don't know, is she old? Is she old? Or is it just, has she got a hat on or something? I think she, she's old. Um, yeah, I think she's old. <laughs> she's thinking about money. Um, Oliver Christie gave a passable reading to Dorian and clientele. Calante or Calente, though she didn't really believe that the 52 pick up is a total normal part of card reading, apparently. Um, criticising me? Seriously? You criticising me? I don't think so. I don't think so, old woman. I don't think so. You don't be mean to me. Just accuse you of being a diva then. Don't bring it to my door if you can't handle what you get back. Anybody else here? Anybody else? Have we even got Belinda? Belinda seems to be everywhere, but she's not here today. Nope. Nobody. It is somewhere. Pretty dead. So I think we will go home. How is Blake getting on? Blake is... Seems to be making himself at home. Such a nice house. I love this house. My god, has she got a wee outhouse and everything? Does this belong to her or is this a neighbour's house? She's got a garage. Okay, I'm loving this house. I'm in love with this house. Is this her place? Can't seem to click on it, so I don't really know. I don't really know if it's her house or not. Mm. I love it though. Uh, it's so cute. That is, I think that's out with... Hmm, it would be cute. Look at it. I'm really messing with this. It's going to end up crashing on me. I betcha. I betcha. So she's got some indoor plants. So it is kind of like, it feels like as if it's almost like a half conservatory thing that she's getting on. So they are getting on quite well. She really has an awesome house. She really does. Um, so she's going to practice some chess and she's going to sit there. And in the rocking chair, she is, I, I like her a lot, I think, yeah. Let's play some chess together. If she plays chess, he may have found the woman of his dreams. Uh, and then she comes uh, to play chess and he up and goes to the toilet. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. So what are we doing now? Are we home? You are home. Okay, you are home. And your energy is shockingly low. So Blake, yours is quite high. There's nothing wrong with your energy. So let's see. Back and forth, back and forth. Are you dizzy yet? Are you? Are you dizzy yet? So I don't know. I don't know whether we should... No, don't watch TV. It is quite late, but I don't know whether we should uh, just join in in a little bit of chess. So could we have found a love interest for Blake? What do you think? Do you think she is a great match? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I'm wondering whether Oliver may be better because I would quite like Oliver to have a, a cracking house to go to and this is quite a cracking house but I don't know. I think that these, these two are pretty, pretty friendly and she is flirty although there is no attraction. So, I would kind of like to get um, Oliver to meet her and see if there's any attraction between the two of them because that would be quite interesting to see. So he's going to learn this could just be a good friendship. Who knows what it could be. Um, but it's quite nice to see him, you know, just relaxing with someone else because 
all of it is his best friend, but all of it is trying to get his own career up. And I think sometimes Blake does feel a little bit lonely. So, you know, it would be good for him if he could branch out and have another friend. That would be really quite nice for him. These are, just in case you're wondering, the indoor plants that came with Supernatural. So you can now transfer your plants inside. So you can make like a little greenhouse um, type scenario. Like kind of what I would imagine this to be. I want to go in here so badly, <laughs> but I don't know what that is, and I don't, it seems to be outside her lot, so I feel as if it's, it's a mystery. Do you guys know what this place is? I wonder if he goes here. Let's try that. Let's see if he goes off her lot, perhaps. Can he then? No, he still can't go in it. That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. What is this? Hmm. I want to go inside. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to leave it there because it is now 2 in the morning. And I hope you're all having an amazing day, week, month, everything like that. And, uh, yeah, so we now have, as a recap, we now have Shannon. She is now with child. And she is showing and she has not too bad pregnancy clothes and uh, hopefully she'll be having a little vampire baby so we are off and running and we have a werewolf in standby to give us a werewolf baby as well so awesome so i hope you all have a great day and i shall talk to you very very soon in my next lp or review depending on when this goes up <laughs> i'll leave it on a cough guys talk to you soon bye